What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Kingdoms of Capuchin. We are back in the Egyptian stuff, We've still got our temple to finish off. And we're not going to start off with a time lapse straight away. What we're going to do is, I just want to sort of chat with you guys and just work on a bit of stuff. So, last episode there was um, quite a bit of sort of debate, I would say, about the pyramids and the temple in general. So I've got the comments on my phone in front of me, I just want to sort of chat for about five minutes whilst we uh, work on this little courtyard. This is going to be sort of ruined, so I'll just sort of build up the pillars, and then I'll just start ruining it a little bit, you know, taking some pillars away and stuff like that. So, it was Sir Mudo said, uh, like, the pyramid and the temple are amazing, so thank, thank you very much. I like that comment. Uh, <laughs> um, but he said that the temple, you know, it's wrong. It shouldn't be here because it's making it look like they are worshipping the... Uh, pharaohs rather than worshipping the gods. So basically what I want to say is this temple isn't a temple for the gods, it's a temple for the pharaohs. So they did have uh, these type of temples and they were called mortuary temples. Now granted they might not quite have looked like this, they might have you know, not have been as big and grand as this. Um, and this is very similar to my, uh, what's it called, my Let's Build a Temple series. So that might be, you know, my bad in that section. Uh, but there was, uh, I think it's Khafre's Pyramid? The, the middle one out of the, the three in Giza. Um, I've, I've kind of based it off of that, like the ruins that they had for that. So that's how I've sort of got, roughly got the layout for this uh, mortuary temple. And the mortuary temple, basically, it was just so, like, um, the pharaoh could have this big send-off and there'd be a couple of priests or whatever and people would come and give offerings to the pharaoh to say farewell and stuff like that and then it'd just sort of be like a lasting monument type thing so yeah there's that um, and then they started going on about um, you know there was never any mummies actually found and in the pyramids nobody knows what the pyramids were actually built for and that's kind of what i want to talk about because i like all that kind of stuff so People, you must know by now about stuff like um, ancient aliens, and you know the the what's his name, uh, Suclus, Giorgio Suclus, I think that's his name. He's the uh, he's the guy you get all the memes from anyway. Um, and you know, I kind of I like the show, but you've got to you've got to listen to it with a, a pinch of salt. You know, you've got to like you've got to understand that they don't know what they're talking about. They're just trying to make an entertaining show. And, you know, it's never going to be sort of perfect word for word what's going on. That looks alright, doesn't it? It's like, you know, a bit of the ceiling's broke away there. In fact, let's turn that as well. Yeah. And then maybe, maybe do that. Yeah, I like that even more. Um, so, yeah, what, what was it up to? George, George Suclus and Ancient Aliens. Yeah, so that, that show, you know, it does a lot for this theory of, you know, the pyramids and stuff and if you listen to guys like um graham hancock and uh oh what's the other game the, the other game oops oops i was meant to say that but the guy's name is um eric van daniken uh he's got the book of uh, chariots of the gods which i actually had an audio book listen to that's really cool to listen to um so yeah, just people like that, they've got some really cool ideas and theories. But again, you've got to take it with a pinch of salt. You don't just like believe every word they say. Um, you've got to try and make your own sort of opinion about that sort of stuff. Um, and, you know, a lot of stuff that they say makes you question, like, hang on. Yeah, you've got a point there. Uh, and then there's other stuff they say, you just go, right, now you're just making stuff up to, to suit your ideas. So um, that's why I say you've got to, like, kind of form your own opinion on what they say and not just take what they say as gospel type thing. But yeah, I just thought that was really cool and it's something I, I'm i interested in, you know, those sort of shows and all the crazy theories and stuff like that. And I just thought I'd, like, you know, share that a little bit. Um, plus, it just give you guys, give me a chance to sort of talk away and just do a bit of building and, yeah. Uh, what we're going to do now, though, is get into a full time lapse mode and... I think I'm going to focus on this courtyard and build up this place here, which is going to be a, a ceiling sort of hall. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with pillars. Um, I originally what did have pillars here, but I'm not sure if I'm going to now. I might just put a couple of statues or something in here um, to represent some of the gods. 
But I, I already like this. I mean, it's not even detailed. It's just a couple of, you know, holes. I already like it. Yeah. Um, obviously, once we start putting more detail into these columns and the pillars and actually use different materials, I think it's going to look really cool. And then, obviously, we have this... Uh, we were going to put... What's it called? Plinth? Plinth isn't the right word. What's the word? What's the word for these things? What are they called? Obelisk. That's the one. Uh, we're going to have the big obelisk here, which was going to be removed and uh, taken over to the main city over there. So we've got to try and get a way of working that into it as well. And then once we've done them two, I'll probably cut back and uh, work on the causeway and the front a little bit. And then I'll just sort of just do the rest off camera, I think. Uh, one more thing, somebody mentioned about the walls not being part of it. Um, yeah, again, the, the walls on the sort of designs I was looking at, the walls were there. And... You know, it's only just like a small wall. It's not going to be, you know, fucking... Oops, it's wall. I wasn't going to say that. Um, it's not going to be like a big castle wall, you know, like this high or anything like that. It's just going to literally be a couple of blocks just to stop people, you know, climbing on the pyramid. You know, like that height, you know, that'll be enough. So it's not going to be a massive, you know, thing obscuring the view. Um, and then after this, I think we'll take a break from pyramids and temples and stuff and we'll go work on that little river that we were going to plan in the last episode where we're just going to cut a river through and the temple I was on about I did get this idea from somewhere uh, I think it's Aswan there's a temple on an island or something loads of trees and everything like that so if you google that um, that is what I'm going to be basing the temple off uh, roughly and yeah I've been talking a bit too long now so let's let's get into the first time lapse of this courtyard Okay guys, we're back and we got quite a lot done in those two time lapses. So I'm really happy with this courtyard here. Um, we've got lots of like broken pillars that have fallen down. We've got these bits here that have sort of fallen down from the roof. And I think maybe maybe I need to rework this a little bit, add a bit more of this um, this this brick in, which we can do by doing that there, and then I think I want to change that to a full block of this. Let's do that. Um, hey, I should do it in F1 mode. 
Um, actually, no, it's not F1 mode. It's just my game is messed up. Okay, good to know. Right. So yeah, like I said, I'm really happy with the way this has turned out. We've got loads of these rocks around just to sort of show the rubble that's fallen away. This is where the big plinth would be. Um, I'm not too sure whether to keep that the same colour as these or whether to make it like black or you know just a different block altogether. So I'll let you guys help me out with that. Uh, we've got some sand piling up in here as well because we've got this big open bit so sandstorms would hit and you know sand would just get deposited in here but it looks like you know it's being cleaned up a little bit because it's sort of pushed to one side or it's all piled up in this corner so it's like you know people still come here but it's uh, still a, a bit of a ruin uh, I just really like the way these bits have all fallen away um, I'm, just, I'm really happy with this courtyard and then we've got this next section of the temple so this changed completely from my design so originally it was going to be just like a pillared courtyard not even a courtyard just a pillared room um, but what I decided to do instead was um, add a little bit of light into here put a divided wall and I'm not too sure whether to make this wall go you know, all the way up yet or not I think I think I might do but, um, what we're going for in this room anyway is five sort of bits here to the side and these are going to be like where statues of gods would have sat to look over the pharaoh so it would have been like you know Amun Ra and Osiris and Anubis and Isis and I don't know another god who knows um <laughs> and then this is like an altar where they could have performed stuff and yeah, so I was quite happy with that design. You know what? I want that to be the no side CTM block, if you get what I mean. Um, large black slab, no side CTM. And put that in there. Try and find it. Oh, because it's top. Ah, it's so annoying. I don't want that slab there. But, okay. Um. And then the other thing is this big wall here. So I thought that maybe they would put like, you know, the similar decorations of what we've been doing around like this. And I thought, you know what? Maybe the Greeks who came to this place really liked whatever was on this wall. And as a result, um, took it off. Like, you know, chiseled it out and took it away with them. I thought that might be like a cool little idea. And what I've noticed is, you might notice in the time lapse, this side was only too wide. And then this side was three wide. So I got really confused when I was doing the roof. Um, and I had to move everything over. And I haven't adjusted this over. So what we can do now is do that. And then that was out there. And you know what? I'm just going to leave it like that. I think that looks good. Uh, this, I don't like though, the fact that you can see that. So we might have to make them stirs just for that one section. I can't do it that way, can I? Uh, that's a bit annoying, but okay. So yeah, I really like the way that that turned out. Again, we've got lots of broken rocks hanging around, and we've got some sand, and um, just a bit, bit of pillars and stuff. But yeah, that's all I've really had time for over the weekend, is to get this done, because I, in true Nick fashion, it is now Monday morning. This video is going to be rendered and uploaded in the next couple of hours, so... <laughs> Yeah, um, I wanted to try and tackle these pylons in this video, but I haven't had the time over the weekend to do that. So that might be the next episode is we'll do the pylons and we'll sort of work on the outer sections of the temple, ruining them up. Um, let me know if you guys think it should be more ruined or if you like the level that we're at. Because the way I was thinking is, you know, this has only been recently done, you know, in the last, say... 50 to 100 years that this has been attacked so I didn't want it to be you know like you'd see it today just complete ruin so yeah um, the next episode though we might tackle the pylons and do that or we might move on to something a bit different and work on this terrain here this river that goes through I'm not too sure it just depends on how I feel uh, I am off work tomorrow so a lot of recording will be done tomorrow for Thursday's episode and yeah, that's kind of it. Shorter episode today, but we did get a lot done. This was a lot of uh, time I put into this because 
uh, detailing and stuff takes me ages. So um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I've really enjoyed this the way that these uh, courtyards and rooms and whatever have turned out. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.